Our freedoms are imaginary and our rights come secondary. And our fights get real scary. At night, I dream brimstone. Sky is falling. Can't you hear the revolution calling? Wow. I sit stalling in my brownstone thinking shit's all right because the dictatorship is so tight and sublime. We think this freedom makes us shine, but it's just blood glistening on teeth and the light of the moon. I mean, if you ain't listening to what's not being said, niggas, you're doomed. And please, God, forgive us. We know not what we do and burn fire, burn on the idle chickens that do. Who knew it would come to this? I'm talking lies so real you can clinch them with your fist. The rich stay rich and run our government. We paying them to keep our backs bent. We paying them and think our money's well spent. Between their taxes, they bills for natural factors and rent. They sip martinis and laugh while we sit like the olives on the bottom of their glass. Until at last, they expose our heads on sticks and devour the shits. We can't keep a dime in our pockets because every commercial and billboard sparks that I call it wanty wanty. But what we need, we need to proceed and believe we're honest, dependable, trustworthy people. Because it seems they portrayed us as evil for so long we believed them. But they wrong. And our buying power is strong. And they know we grow steady in all aspects. But respect is lacking. See, we assume all black people are slacking in professionalism and customer service, but how? When for over 400 years, we were the best servants and surrogate mothers to oppressors seeds. But if they keep us fooled by what's on TV, we will never see the power in we see clearly while they rehearse scripts for the debate. And we know it's all fake because in the end, it don't matter which side you take. Because there is no lesser evil in a system that enslaves people through mind fucking, sucking our souls through every sense and orifice, overstimulating us, which leads us to nonsense till we're numb and sick, till we're blind, deaf and dumb to their tricks. But when will we represent? Not in little cells that conglomerate, but cells united as an organism that operates as the most high through nature mandates and stop putting our fates in the hands of these shady candidates because they do not represent us. They do not represent us. They repress and misrepresent us, trying us, drawing us farther away from the ones who sent us. There should be no delay in us. We should stop playing victims and align with omnipotence cause. Sinners we are, but that don't stop the glory. So I use this poet trip hop to summarize the story. Our freedoms are imaginary and our rights come secondary and our fights get real scary. At night, I dream brimstone. Sky is falling. Can't you hear the motherland calling? She's bawling out in labor pains now. Abel's trying to strangle Cain, but the fact remains they brothers beefing in the womb of one mother. Oh, one don't think it's room for the other. Oh, how low will these motherfuckers go? Most high save them. Most high wake them. Most high take us home. Because our freedoms are imaginary and our rights come secondary. And our fights get real scary. At night, I dream brimstone. The sky is falling.